Were you born a devotee of Krishna? Well, I have not yet become a devotee, so I'm still struggling. I was born in a Brahmin family, <laughs> Brahmin family okay. uh, which, is, which is pious, but not religious. So I knew the stories of and the general concepts of the Bhagavad Gita, the stories of the Rama and Mahabharata. But we were more into education and uh, more of uh, westernization. That was the atmosphere in our culture, in our home. Mm-hmm. So definitely religious, but not spiritual, you could say. It almost seems like religion or spirituality took, has taken a back seat in sophisticated, well-to-do, and even pious families in India. Is that correct? Uh, yes and no. Religion in the conventional sense has definitely taken a back seat. But spirituality in the sense of you know, wanting to explore something that will offer peace of mind, it will help one to find fulfillment. So that is something which is, even in the progressive part of India, it is uh, growing. So often sure. the places like Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai, where we have a lot of software engineers, that are the places where a good number of people are also turning towards spirituality. Hmm. Yeah. So I feel it's just a matter of a different way of uh, accessing the spiritual wisdom. So more of religious rituals are not what people are attracted to. But if, if the wisdom is presented in a way that can help people make their lives more meaningful, manage mm. their emotions better, connect with each other more deeply, then definitely spirituality is, in that sense, I would say rising. Although religion is declining. 